the Android Engine 5.7 is finally here, guys. It's been released officially. Uh, the past few weeks, I think you've seen me do some videos, but all of these were really just uh, the 5.7 preview. So if you go to the Android Engine website, let's go over here. You can see some of the highlights that they've uh, featured. This video shows some of the feature highlights that I'm excited about. And uh, I've been waiting for the Unreal Engine 5.7 for a long time because I'm working on this short film called the uh, Galiwango. It's an animated gorilla. And I want to create this amazing forest, right? And that's why I'm excited for this uh, procedure generation. It's it's really going to help me to be able to do like those really beautiful like vegetation scenes with the jungles in uh, Africa. Because that's where my scene, is, my movie is set, and that's gonna be in real time, so which is really really cool. And then in terms of uh, in the high fidelity rendering, uh, this is gonna also help me because I I know guys, if you're making a short film, this is gonna this was one of those things that you we struggle with with being able to render foliage, and then also to handle like physically accurate materials. I think that's gonna make it so much easier in 5.7. Of course, I'm waiting for some of the plugins to be updated. So then I can uh, bring in the animated characters into this room. They've added dynamic scalable lighting, which is amazing. With They've accelerated the animation authoring and I'm excited to use the control rig. Even with the uh, CC4 characters that I'm able to bring in here, it means this is going to be able to support that, right? To be able to create blend shapes and add like uh, some deformation on my characters and improve. Even like if something is not working properly, I know I'll be able to fix it. And then of course, I can retargeting. This is going to be great for mock-up because a lot of us that do short films, we're always thinking about how to do like convincing animation and being able to incorporate physics and of course the meta humans. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited about uh, Live Link face because again, I'm doing uh, I, like, I, right now, I just got the Morococo mock up suit. I, I'm excited to see this part and then also be able to do the parametric grooming uh, to be able to do custom hair for the gorilla, for example, and then dynamics this i'm excited about because before this wasn't a thing in the unreal engine being able to see this in 5.7 amazing and then virtual production <laughs> yeah i know some friends who are going to be excited about this for sure you know being able to interact with props this is one of those things again that uh were missing in 5.6 but you could still do it but this has been made better in 5.7 i'm so so excited to see that I'm going to go back to this scene over here where we have the character and uh, talk about some things that have also been improved because right now you can see me using live link over here. So those features that you see that have been added, you can also, when you go to add source over here in live link, these have all been improved as well. The live link face, uh, meta human video, meta human audio. So you're able to use pre-recorded video as well as like right now I'm using a webcam using this MetaHuman video, right? So I'll show you real quick. Let me go ahead and delete this. And I'm gonna go, make sure I select my character over here and turn off MetaHuman animator. So this works for MetaHumans. It also works for CC5 characters that have been converted uh, to bring into the, Unre uh, into the Unreal Engine for facial animation. So this character, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a source so that we can see it moving. So click on add source, go to meta human video, then select it. And I highly recommend that you get a webcam that can support 60 frames per second over here, minus 30 frames per second. So give it a name, solo like VTuber, and then click on connect. Now, a number of you have been having issues with this not turning green. Please check and see if there's any other program that is using your webcam because that has been a problem in the past. And I was even doing like a webinar where I was attending a Zoom call and my webcam was being used by Zoom. So I had to turn off that webcam in Zoom for this to show up because I was trying to demonstrate this in real time. So please make sure to make sure, check to make sure that there's no other program that is using your webcam, okay? And then also try to get close to the webcam because over here, it will tell you when you step away, 
when you're far from it, it's a subject too far from camera. But when you get closer, it will come back over here. So try to be close to your webcam so it can actually track it better. Okay. And then when you're ready, um, now because the state is okay, that means it's streaming. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to select a character over here. And under use MetaHuman Animator, I'm going to check this. But don't forget to change the subject name and pick the one that you named. And there we go. So that's the character now talking. And this has been improved as well in the Unreal Engine 5.7. One other thing that has really been improved, if you go to the tools over here and you call turn on ingest server, and also go back to tools and turn on the live link hub. The live link hub is going to help you uh, be able to convert any video source into data that can be used by the MetaHuman Animator. Now, so here's something that uh, I, I came up with, I mean, upon. It's saying that, uh, you know, I need to update. So they say installed version of the NVIDIA graphics has, let me cancel this save right here. It says that uh, this graphics driver has some issues with uh, Direct 3D. So DirectX D3 D12 DirectX 12. So make sure that you upload. Uh, sorry, make sure you download the most recent drivers that they recommend. Right. So right now they recommend 581, and I have 573. So I have to make sure I update that. So for now. If I can actually say yes, so they can take me to the driver and go ahead and follow the path, find out the driver that you need, and then download it, right? But even without that, it will still load. And if you go back over here, this is the, the live link hub. Uh, you notice something different. This, now we have a recording list over here. We have the data sets, of, I mean, the data sources over here. Like if I click add source, then I'm able to add a error kit, live link face, hub, live link open track, input, open VR source, message. So there are multiple things that they've added here to be able to bring in video data to be able to drive a, an animated character or meta human uh, with a meta human animator, right? So that's what's amazing that these are things that they've added in here that I'm looking for. I've been looking forward to. And I'm sure they're going to continue updating this because when I looked at uh, the MetaHuman Creator, because that one has also been uh, improved, and something I noticed, we used to be able to download uh, 8K and 4K textures, but right now this one only has 2K textures. So something is different about this. Um, when I zoom into the characters, I mean, the textures still look great, right? But I noticed for sure that this is different because before you'll be able to download 4K and 8K textures, but for now it seems like it only up downloads 2K textures. So I'm going to be digging into that to see what else is different about it. But overall, the characters look amazing. These are MetaHumans, and you'll be able to use the MetaHuman Animator, the live link, with this as well, as well as uh, CC5 characters. So I'm going to pause this one. And go back here. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys that uh, the Unreal Engine 5.7 has officially been released and it's available on the Epic Games launcher over here. You just need to go to the engine versions, click the plus sign over here, drop down and then select it as one of the options here because I already installed it. It's showing up here, but that's how you'll be able to install it. And when you're done installing it, don't forget to come back here and drop down under options Make sure you also enable MetaHuman Creator Core Data that it gets installed. That will be after you, you download the full version, right? So make sure that is installed because you're going to need that for the MetaHuman Creator. Okay, so we can close that. And I can't wait to see what you guys are going to make. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Again, my name is Solomon Jagwe. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Thank you to all my patrons. And as always, dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream and let's use these tools to tell our stories. The Unreal Engine is powerful. I highly, highly recommend it, guys. And look at this. This is in real time. Isn't that amazing that we're able to do this in real time? But I also recommend if you're going to do this, I think you should invest in a good GPU because that will make your life much easier. 
Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.